the autumn effect is a great way to add more atmosphere to your landscape and portrait photos. So today I'm going to be showing you how I apply the autumn effect to make sure it matches with every single image in Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo. Now a photo that works really well with the autumn effect is a photo with a good amount of detail and good amount of clarity. Take this photo here as an example. It's a nice contrast between the smooth water of the waterfalls, as a photo I've recently taken in uh, Yellowstone National Park, as well as the nice harsh detailed rocks. So you've got this nice contrasting look and this works really well with the autumn effects. If you've done any long exposures, maybe you're at the beach or you've taken any photos in a forest, an autumn effect works really well just to add a little bit more atmosphere and it kind of blooms and adds a nice glow to the highlights. So to create the autumn effect is actually really simple. All we need to do is go to our background layer here and we're going to go ahead and press Command J. Now you need to work out to get the best autumn effect I found out, you need to match the resolution of your image. So you just need to work out the megapixels of your photo. Now, I was taking this on my Canon EOS R5, which I know is a 45 megapixel camera, but I've cropped in slightly. So all we need to do is work out the resolution. So what we're gonna do is go up to image and then we simply go down to image size. And we need to make sure we've got our height and width available in our pixels. So what we're gonna do is go to my calculator here. I'm just gonna quickly work out the resolution of this photo. So it's 7,477 times 4,987 pixels. And that gives us a megapixel count of 37 million. So we just need to remember 37 megapixels is the photo resolution. Again, obviously it might be different for your image. So with that number memorized, what we're gonna do is go go to our new layer here. We're gonna go up to filter, I'm gonna go to blur, I'm gonna go to Gaussian blur. And this is where you want to type in that number. So I'm gonna type in 37 pixels in our radius number here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Then what we want to do is go up to image and drop down all the way to apply image with these settings. So we want our source layer, which is our main layer here, choosing layer as merged, channel RGB and our blending mode of multiply. Then we're gonna go ahead and click OK. All we need to do now is go to our blending mode options and simply drop down to screen. Now, if you're finding it's a little bit too strong, finding it's a little blowing out the highlights slightly, all we need to do is go to our opacity here and simply drop that down. I think probably around 60% works really nice for this photo. And what I can do is quickly show you the before and after. And as you can see, it's really softened those highlights and added a little bit more of a softer look to the shadows. Overall, I really like this effect. And it adds a little bit more atmosphere to your landscape photos. Here is the before and here is the after. And if this particular video helped you out, make sure to write it down in the comments below.